Population, the whole or entire group. The population in the state of Arizona is 7 million, since there are 7 million people in the entire state. It wouldn't make sense to give a survey to all of these people, so instead we will use a sample. A sample is a small portion of the population that you collect data from. We can use the results of this sample to make predictions about the entire population. Bias sample versus unbiased sample. In a biased sample, one or more parts of the population are favored over others, it does not accurately represent the population, and it will provide an invalid conclusion. So biased samples are not good. Unbiased sample. Everyone has an equal chance of being chosen. It accurately represents the population, and it will provide a valid conclusion. So unbiased samples are good. Unbiased sample types. Simple random sample. In a simple random sample, each item or person in the population has an equal chance of being chosen. Example. Each student's name is written on a popsicle stick and placed into a cup, and names are pulled without looking. This is a simple random sample because each student has an equal chance of being chosen. Systematic random sample. In a systematic random sample, each item or person is selected according to a fixed periodic interval. Example. Every fifth phone is pulled off the conveyor belt and tested for defects. Notice that there is a fixed periodic interval, since every fifth phone is being pulled off the belt and being tested. Biased sample types. Convenience sample. A convenience sample consists of members of a population that are easy to access. Example. To represent all the students in the school, you ask all of the students on your bus to take a survey. This would be a convenience sample because you are riding the bus anyway, and those students on the bus are easy to access. Voluntary response sample. In a voluntary response sample, it involves only those who want to participate in the sample. Example. People in a neighborhood who want to express their opinions about an issue complete an online survey. So this type of sample is voluntary. It's only taken by people who want to participate. Example number one. Determine whether the conclusion is valid. To evaluate the quality of their product, a company decides to test every 25th tablet off of the assembly line. Out of the 400 tablets tested, 8 are defective. The manager concludes that about 2% of the tablets produced will be defective. Is the manager's conclusion valid? There are three steps to solve this problem. Step 1 is to determine the type of sample taken. If we look back at the problem, it says that every 25th tablet is taken off of the assembly line. This would be a systematic random sample. Step 2. Determine if the sample is biased or unbiased. Since it is a systematic random sample, this would be an unbiased sample type. Step 3. Determine if the conclusion is valid or invalid. If we look back at the problem, it says, the manager concludes that about 2% of the tablets produced will be defective. And then earlier in the problem, they state that out of 400 tablets tested, 8 are defective. So we want to see if that is 2%. So what we can do is take 8 and divide it by the 400, which is equal to 0 0.02, and then we can multiply that by 100 to find out the percent. 0 0.02 times 100 is equal to 2. So it is in fact equal to 2%. So since this is an unbiased sample type, 
and it did equal 2%, we can say that the manager's conclusion is valid. Example number two. Determine whether the conclusion is valid. To determine whether the students will attend the talent show at the school, Sarah surveys 12 of her friends. All of Sarah's friends plan to attend. Sarah concludes that all the students in the school will attend. Is her conclusion valid? Step 1. Determine the type of sample taken. Since Sarah only asked her friends, which are easy to access, this would be an example of a convenience sample. Step 2. Determine if the sample is biased or unbiased. Since not everyone has an equal chance of being chosen, this would be a biased sample. Step 3. Determine if the conclusion is valid or invalid. Sarah only surveyed 12 people, which is too small of a sample to represent the entire population of the school. Furthermore, Sarah only surveyed her friends, which is not a random sample and does not give every student the equal chance of being chosen. Therefore, Sarah's conclusion is invalid. All right, I got one more problem I want you to try. It says, to determine which type of music to play in the store, Jeff gives a survey to 40 random customers. Out of the 40 customers, 30 choose rock and roll as their favorite genre. Jeff concludes that he should play rock and roll music in the store. Is his conclusion valid? I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. All right, let's take a look. The sample type was a simple random sample, which is an unbiased survey type. So since the survey was random and unbiased, and 30 out of 40 people chose rock and roll music, which was the majority of the people surveyed, we can conclude that Jeff's conclusion is valid. If you had this incorrect, I would recommend you go back and review and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.